to edit an observation in iNaturalist on the app, and here I'm in the Android app, go to your own observations, which I've already opened into. Let me uh, perhaps show you how to edit this one. At the top right is a pencil. Click on the pencil. From here, I can edit things such as uh, the uh, date and time if I need to. It must have a date and should have a time. I can edit the location. Here you can see the green uh, the green marker is the location of the plant. And the black circle is the location uh, as the uh, uncertainty in the location. So I can move the uh, plant around if I need to put it in a different place or potentially change the, uh, the accuracy of it. I'll go back without saving since it was already an accurate location. If I needed to, if I didn't get, have any pictures, if pictures failed to upload, I could click on the plus camera icon here and add an image to it from my phone or go take a new picture. But a, a uh, observation must have a date, should have a time, should be at GMT plus 11. That's a setting uh, uh, that you set uh, back in the settings, but it may inherit it also from your phone. I think it's set to inherit it from your phone when you set up the app. A location and uh, images. So images, date, location are needed, but you can edit them if you need to. And then uh, when you go back, you can uh, you press check to, to save what you've done. And when you go back, it will synchronize that one observation. Up here you can see it's actually synchronizing that. Even though I didn't change anything, it will resync to determine nothing has changed. This icon at the top, a little bit to the right, lets you switch between the two views of your observations. So that's how you edit an observation on the app.